Today we are making fresh ricotta cheese. Very, very simple to do at home and you can really wow your guests when you're making this cheese. It's a nice appetizer. You can put it on a piece of bread or baguette or just serve it on the side on a cheese platter. A few simple ingredients that we do have here. First and foremost, we have to start with our four cups of homogenized milk in our pot here. And what we're going to be doing is bringing that up to a temperature of 190 Fahrenheit. And a great way to control your temperature for this milk is to use one of these digital thermometers. And you can see I've already got it set for 190, so my alarm will actually go off and let me know when I've reached that point. The key focus here is to not let your milk boil or scald in that matter. Otherwise, you won't get the same product. Another ingredient is we have our three tablespoons of distilled vinegar and a little bit of salt. And this acidity combination is going to definitely curdle the milk together and will separate the curd and whey. And that's where we have our product. So I'm going to start on medium to low heat with our pot. I'm going to insert the probe right into the milk like so. And this should take about 8 to 10 minutes. It's going to rise up nice low and slow. I want to make sure that it does not come to a boil and this probe will allow us to not to that to happen. It's a game of patience with ricotta cheese. You don't want to rush it ever. You want to make sure that you get nice big curds. The bigger the curds are, the more flavors you can mix into them and so on. One more degree. My thermometer is now blinking, so at this point, we'll stop that and we'll pull our thermometer out, turn our heat off. Now is when we're going to add our acidity. So the vinegar, the salt, just like that, and one quick stir. I like to use the thin part of the spatula and just run around like that. And that is all you want to do. What this accomplishes is larger curds. So larger curds and now you're going to start to see the separation happening before your eyes here. You're going to see the milk solids separating from the liquid so you get a nice drier consistency. And what you want to do is take this off the heat and let this stand for roughly 10 to 15 minutes and it will be ready to be put into our cheesecloth. At this point our milk has stood for roughly 10 to 15 minutes and the acidity of the salt and vinegar has worked its magic on our ricotta here. So I just want to show you what it should kind of look like. I don't want to bust it up too much. I want to remember what I was talking about. I want to keep these big chunks. You can see that the separation of the milk solids. So this is looking perfect. Now with our cheesecloth you want to double up your cheesecloth. So I'll just demonstrate here over a little kind of container to catch the residual water and liquid and we're just going to take our cheesecloth and fold it over like so. Lay it on top of our net and very gently place our ricotta in there. And at this point you want to let this sit in here while not disturbing it or shaking it so that all that extra moisture will drop into the container for a minimum of four hours to a maximum of 24 hours. I recommend 24 hours, you'll get a maximum product. Once it does come to room temperature, you can just fold this over and let it sit overnight in the fridge. At this point, our ricotta cheese has sat overnight in our fridge and you can see how I padded the top with the rest of the cheesecloth to make sure that it was airtight. I'm just going to open it up here so you can see how it comes out. It's kind of packed in and what you can do if there is any extra moisture is just push a little bit on the cheese to get the whey out and we're left with our curds here. The reason I picked homogenized milk or something, a milk with high fat content, is you're going to get more yield out of fat milk than skim milk. You could try and do this with skim milk and you would not get very much curds because obviously it has no fat content. I'm just going to lift this gently here. 
and there's all the way, so we've separated it. This you can discard. If you do want to reinstitute a little bit to get it a little creamier, that's fine too. And now we're going to take our cheesecloth and our curds, just dump it in the bowl. And at this point, you want to add some flavoring to it. So this is a great base. You can add any kind of different herbs or any kind of flavoring that you choose. I like to use some fresh Italian parsley, a little bit of scallions, green onion, or chive. And now we're going to add some citrus flavors. So using our nice microplane grater here, you just want to get the outside of the citrus fruit. Any citrus fruit will do. You don't want to go down to the pith, that's the bitter part of the citrus fruit. So a little bit of orange, we'll do a little bit of lemon. So a little higher acidity content than the orange. And a little bit of lime. And you can do this well in advance before your party or before you're serving this and refrigerate it. And then I always finish my cheese with a little bit of salt, pinch, and some nice fresh cracked pepper. A good amount. And then I just fold all these wonderful flavors together. And there you have it, ricotta cheese. Make sure you store this in the fridge in an airtight container or wrap in saran wrap for your ready for your next use. Visit atcobluflamekitchen.com for more tips.